This question says, why do deathbed declarations have no legs in California? I actually have a video recording of my father uh, saying what he wanted. So I can't speak to California, but I will speak to Florida because that's where I practice. So the issue is that the Florida statutes require your uh, will or trust anything with a testamentary capacity, which means where does your stuff go when you die? It requires it to be in writing and it requires it to be signed at the end of the writing and witnessed um, and preferably notarized. Uh, so that's the reason why anything recorded uh, is not uh, recognized here in Florida. Also holographic wills or things that you do in your own handwriting are extremely problematic and I, I don't recommend them, um, at least here in Florida. So. Follow the rules and get what you want. Um, another thing is deathbed stuff in general, even if it is signed, witnessed, and notarized, can be problematic depending on your situation. A lot of people on their deathbed are, you know, pretty jacked up on painkillers and morphine and things of that nature and may not be in their right mind or may be easily coerced in the days or hours preceding death if you see it coming. So I always recommend get your uh, trust or will done in advance uh, prior to diagnoses of any sort of a medical condition that could give people reason to challenge to say that you didn't know what you were doing or you had dementia or you were on hospice care and you were jacked up on morphine and, and didn't know what you were doing in that moment. Don't wait until the last minute. Procrastination is the death of all things efficient, including estate planning. Hope this helps. Have a great day.